Now, as you can see, I'm about to run out of yarn. So I'm going to wrap a couple more times. And then I'm going to take my needle off. So I have to untie the knot that I made to put it in. So this is kind of a loose knot. Take my needle off. I'm going to get my next strand of yarn, which I have already cut. And just like before, I'm going to line up the tail pointing toward the left. You can see it's with my the tail of my last piece of yarn. The tail from the beginning is still peeking out a little. And here's the tail of my new piece of yarn. And I'm just going to hold that as if it's part of the bag and wrap hold it in place. And those tails are all going to be covered up as I continue working on my basket. Now I'm at the point where I can turn and start stitching. So I'm going to turn it under. You can see it's starting to make a spiral. And that spiral will keep going around and around to make the basket bigger. This is the center bottom of my basket. I turn. I'm going to put my needle on my new yarn. I'm going to press these two coils together and I'm going to stitch up to, to the coil that's directly below where I just stopped wrapping. So I started stopped wrapping here. My stitch is going to go directly below that. And now my wrapping and stitching pattern is going to start. So I'm going to go wrap two, three, four, Five, press the coils together and stitch up once. And then I'm back to wrapping. I'm going to pull pretty tight so it's not too loose and wobbly. One, two, three, four, five, stitch up. Pull tight. One, two, three, four, five. Press the coils together and stitch up. And you can see that the spiral is starting. Here's where we started. I'm going around, and I'm going to keep going around, wrapping and stitching until I get all the way around. To the place where I first joined the very beginning of my basket. At this point, I'm going to show you where to stitch to continue your basket. 